Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sagar Sau and welcome to Vetsa Genetics. Today I welcome you to the fifth lecture in the series of orthopedics. We have already covered four topics, the introduction, the fracture types, the fracture assessment score and the fracture reduction methods. I will give the link to all those videos actually to the playlist of the orthopedics. You can check all those videos out. Today we will be discussing regarding the bone grafting. Bone grafting is basically a kind of theory lecture. If you are interested in bone grafting, many of the researches are being conducted in this particular topic that is bone grafting. Okay, so if you want some material or you can say you can take some output from this video, then please do watch this video. Okay, otherwise it's more or less theory. Sometimes may questions may come in your examination, but not that uh, important. So before going to the video, some formalities. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to the channel. Your uh, subscription really helps me. It actually motivates me to do something more. And if you are old, still enjoying the content and are not yet subscribed, do please subscribe. Apart from that, in the Facebook, I post different cases pictorially. In Instagram, it is more important than Facebook. I am more active in Instagram. In Instagram, you will find the video updates. Also, all these notes and also the PPTs, I post pictorially in the Instagram. Okay. This is the book which I am referring, The Small Animal Surgery by Therese Wells. Uh, person okay yeah, yeah don't worry i will give the link to this particular book in the description apart from the link of the book you will also find the link to this particular ppt in pdf format as well as the notes in pdf format you can download it so don't need no need to take any notes from this particular class notes is available so just watch this video and uh, after the class simply see the notes and uh, you will have uh, good memorization okay both audio visual and uh, hearing uh, next, first one is the types of this particular bone grafting. You know this one simply some uh, refreshing your memory. Okay, first one is autograft of bone autograft. See, auto means same animal from same animal you are using the graft. Allograft animal species is same but from a different animal. Okay, it can be cancellous bone graft. It may be cortical for autograft for allograft also similarly it can be cancellous it can be cortical there are some biomaterials we will discuss all these things their strengths their disadvantages okay advantage and disadvantage all those things don't worry so biomaterials there are dbm demineralized bone matrix collagen then bone marrow aspiration aspirate msc mesenchymal stem cells platelet rich platelet rich plasma okay all those things we will discuss there are some synthetic bone substitutes, there are major four classes, okay. Synthetic bone substitutes, ceramics, where you can see that uh, extracellular matrix, ECM. Many of the researches are being conducted in this particular topic, ceramics. Next, bioglass. Uh, how I know, actually, in the recent Indian Society for Veterinary Surgery Conference, I found some topics from this particular ceramics, use of ceramics. Polymer, all those things we will discuss, don't worry. Simply remember the four classes, autograft, allograft, biomaterials and synthetic bone substitute. These are different types of grafts. Next, there are some properties of this graft. Uh, I want to explain before, um, beforehand because when I will be using these terms, okay, I won't explain it there. Okay. The so first one is osteogenesis. It simply means ability to serve as the source of osteoblast, precursor of uh, osteocytes. Okay. So, osteogenesis is the ability to serve a source of osteoblast. There is osteoinduction, it means it is has the ability to differentiate or you can say ability to induce this uh, my induce and migration and differentiation of mesenchymal stem cells to osteoblast. Okay, this is osteoinduction. Induce to induce. In this way you can remember induction. Genesis source. Induction is basically ability to induce. Then conduction, conduction is basically providing a framework. You can in layman you can remember that framework. Okay, in scientific term it is known as scaffold. Scaffold. Okay, many of technical terms or many in orthopedic research you find use of term scaffold. Okay, you may get slightly what is that? No, it simply means framework. Okay, it provides a framework through which this osteogenesis and osteoconduction will occur. Okay, it will provide a framework through which the bone cells will migrate and form the bone tissues. Next is osteointegration. This term will be very less used but in particular this lecture. Surface bonding between the graft and host bone. Okay, this is osteointegration. This will be very less used. Mostly we will use the term osteogenesis. 
osteo induction osteo conduction and the strength strength means simply additional support okay additional support that this particular graft that provides to the fracture that is strength okay so remember genesis it means the source of osteoblast acts as source of osteoblast osteo induction it simply means ability to induce okay you, you can say that ability for chemotaxis chemotaxis of major mesenchymal stem cells mesenchymal stem cells okay ability to induce chemotaxis of mesenchymal stem cells okay osteo conduction ability to provide a scaffold or simply framework okay next is strength this four term will be normally used or most frequently used mechanical support to the fracture okay let us go to our different bone graphs first one is the autograft cancellous bone autograft first one you see it is a gold standard for orthopedic surgery okay gold standard the cancellous bone autograft in bone grafting this is gold standard there are different sites you can harvest that is proximal humerus proximal tibia tibia distal femur and ilial wing these are common sites from which this particular autograft is harvested and remember it should not be harvested if uh, particular bone or particular site is used it should not be further harvested before 12 weeks okay after 12 weeks you can harvest again the advantages are here you can see that you have to drill a hole if this is actually the humerus this is humerus suppose there is femur fracture this humerus it is a fracture of femur and femur fracture and you have to do the cancellous bone autograft so you have to identify the site drill a hole harvest this particular the bone graft and then simply deposit at the fracture site okay so this is basically the cancellous bone autograft there are some advantage and disadvantage it is not immunogenic because from same animal you are using it is not immunogenic excellent osteogenesis there are 3 plus excellent then good and fair osteogenesis is excellent osteo induction is also excellent osteo conduction is also ex excellent but it does not have a strength okay because it is purely a soft cancellous bone is comparatively very very soft so no strength additional surgical time for harvesting of course when you will be harvesting from different side there will be additional time but in case of small and elderly elderly patient old patient geriatric patients on those patients you will find limited bone availability especially the cancellous bone availability okay these are some disadvantages next is cortical bone autograft that one is cancellous that one cortical similarly the sites are most commonly is rib ilial wing distal ulna and distal fibula all these are sites for cortical bone harvesting the advantages are osteogenesis is good osteo induction is good osteo conduction is good in addition to these three properties it also provides strength because they are comparatively hard structure okay so it also provides strength there are some disadvantages i told you additional surgical time similar to the because you have to harvest so similar to the cancellous bone autograft it will have some additional surgical time there is also a chance that those graft which you have harvested it may fracture further okay these are some disadvantages of cortical bone autograft next is cancellous bone allograft allograft is some different species uh, different animal of same species but this particular cancellous bone auto allografts are commercially available okay commercially available as frozen products it can be mixed with cancellous autograft okay for osteogenic activity because it does not have osteogenic activity it has osteo induction good good osteo induction uh, sorry fair osteo induction property and fair osteo conduction property it does not have osteogenesis property that is why you can add with the cancellous bone autograft for better result and it doesn't have a strength and i when something is commercially available it is high cost next is the cortical bone allograft cortical bone similarly it is available commercially as frozen products okay and uh, it has osteo induction fair osteo conduction fair it has excellent strength similar to the uh, cortical bone autograft it does not have osteogenesis property it can result in infection there is some graft rejection when you are using allograft there might be some immune reaction so graft rejection and the graft fracture all these things are disadvantage of cortical bone allograft 
नेक्स्ट इज द डीबीएम डी मिनरलाइज बोन मैट्रिक्स यूजली बोन कॉन्ट्रेंस ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट कैल्शियम सो यू सिंपली हैव टू रिमूव दिस कैल्शियम और मिनिमाइज इट यूजली कैल्शियम लेवल वन डी मिनरलाइज इज थ्री परसेंट इट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल कमर्शियली फ्रोजन टू फ्रीज ड्राइड प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर डॉग एंड कैश इट इज यूजली कंबाइंड विथ कैंसिलस चिप्स विच आई टोल्ड यू कैंसिलस एलोग्राफ्स दो हजार कैंसिलस चिप्स दो कैंसिलस चिप्स आर कंबाइंड एंड यूज नॉर्मल और कॉमनली The advantages are osteo induction is fair, osteo conduction is also fair, and it is comparatively easily available. Osteogenesis no property of osteogenesis no strength. Uh, you see, when you are using something commercially, there is chance that it may have some immune reaction. Okay, it is available like some blocks are available and also some gel form they are also available. Next one is the collagen you see i to regarding demineralized bone marrow when it is demineralized it is simply have more collagen percentage and when you purify purely collagen that is collagen simply collagen okay it provides scaffold that means it simply provides the framework when it provides the framework it will have osteoconduction property okay good osteoconduction property not any other property that is no osteogenesis no osteoinduction and no strength okay these are also available commercially different uh, um, you can say uh, in mm length and breadth it is available 15 to 20 mm other things are also available if you are doing some research then you can use in normal pressure it which very costly next is the bmp bone morphogenic protein bone morphogenic protein it is based belong to tgf category transforming growth factor tgf beta okay this particular hormone or particular protein is responsible for chemotaxis chemo taxis of mesenchymal stem cells okay so it simply means it has osteo induction property so it has fair osteo induction property not any other property osteogenesis is not present osteo induction is not present strength is not there and it is very very costly these are some are disadvantages okay it can only be used for research purpose not that commercially if the owner is very very rich Next is the bone marrow aspirate. Bone marrow aspirate. This is basically a source of MSCs, mesenchymal stem cells. Okay, when it is the source of MSCs, it has uh, as also it is bone marrow aspirate. So it has some factors which can induce the chemotaxis. So it will have some osteoinduction property, and it is a bone marrow aspirate, mesenchymal stem cells which can act as the osteoblasts. So there will be osteogenesis property. good amount of osteogenesis property and fair amount of osteoinduction property does not have any osteoconduction property and it has no strength this is bone marrow aspirate next is the mesenchymal stem cells okay they are basically harvested in lab the source are periosteum bone marrow muscle fat and synovium they are isolated and cultured then integrated to the fracture site it is having some the source of osteoblast simply msc is source of osteoblast so it will have some osteogenesis property fair it does not have any osteoinduction property osteoconduction property or strength okay these are small like small things simply you have to know this thing if someone ask or so you you are reading some research paper with some these fancy terms you should be knowing that this thing is this okay you may not know exact procedure but you should know that this thing is this next is platelet rich plasma platelet rich plasma it is obtained by centrifugation you know that simply discard the rbc and wbc rest is platelet rich plasma it can be injected or applied to the fracture site it acts as the source of tgf okay tgf transforming growth factor tgf beta so it will have some chemotaxis property of mesenchymal stem cells simply osteoinduction property so it has osteoinduction property it is autologous material obtained from the same animal centrifugation of patient blood by which it is obtained and it helps in chemotaxis of mesenchymal stem cells it simply means it has osteoinduction property it does not have any osteogenesis property or osteoconduction property or strength okay next one is the ceramics sometimes it is known also called as in research ecm extracellular matrix extracellular matrix ceramics and polymers or bioglass they are basically provide the scaffold scaffold or you can say provide the 
framework framework element framework so the combination of it is a combination of calcium phosphate tricalcium phosphate okay and it provides scaffold framework okay and uh, it can be manipulated on the basis of porosity pore size particle size okay by this manipulation it is research is done i think there was a presentation in recent isbs 2024 conference regarding this particular ecm extracellular matrix that is the ceramics i think someone has added magnesium also for to this particular combination and check the efficacy okay so you can see some research article on this and you can do your own research so as it is having some scaffold property it means osteoconduction it has fair amount of osteoconduction and they are comparatively slightly as they are extracellular matrix and it has calcium phosphate and tricalcium phosphate it has certain degree of strength but it is not that good strength fair amount of strength it does not have any osteogenesis property or osteoinduction property okay next one is the bioglass similar to the ceramics okay it is composed of calcium salt phosphates and silicon dioxide it provides scaffold i told you the um, bioglass the ceramics and the polymer next one is the polymer the, all those three are basically synthetic bone substitutes and they provide scaffold okay so it will have osteoconduction property no osteogenesis no osteoinduction and so they are commercially available okay like this they are commercially available which can be used at the fracture site next is the polymer it is basically protein and polysaccharides protein plus polysaccharides it can be natural or synthetic it has i told you it simply have the scaffold property so osteoconduction property no osteogenesis no osteoinduction or strength it can be combined with other um, grafts to increase this particular osteogenesis osteoinduction and strength if you are doing some research you can do research on this specific grafting technique okay if you are doing some bone grafting technique okay this is a comparison you can take a screenshot of this particular thing okay on the basis of osteogenesis osteoinduction osteoconduction and strength and all those things which we are studied has been evaluated on this particular four points okay so this is all about today this is all about the bone grafting next we will start the core of orthopedics we will start fracture fixation systems starting from external cooperation vendors to plating all those things will be covered okay so see you till then tata bye bye take care